All right, guys, so today I just want to give you guys an uh, in-depth look at what's inside the box. So I can go into a little bit more detail what's exactly in it. So first, let's start off with the hair clipper itself. It's right there, fade from fading culture. The hair clipper that it, the blade that's on already is kind of goldish looking color. I'm not sure if that's used for fade or not. I think that's just used to clean it up after you've done your fade. Uh, these two black knives, I'm not sure what they're used for, but the ones that are used to make your um, fade are this ones right here, which are two. They're the same size. As you can see, they go from biggest to smallest. Those are the ones to uh, use your fade. And another thing that I, that I um, according to the booklet that I have, is that you have to replace them every three months for some reason if you want to get a good, good haircut. So yeah, I guess take that into consideration if you're gonna buy one, because you're gonna have to replace these two blades every three months, supposedly. I don't, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just keep using them over and over again, because again, they're coming all the way from Hong Kong. Anyways, moving on, they have that little brush to clean out your blades. This is a charging station right here. You put the uh, hair clipper in there, and then notice the outlet. It's not a power outlet, you have to connect to a USB or to, or to a computer. I charge it with my computer, but yeah, that's, I guess that's the only downside of it, that there's no, you can't charge it with the power outlet unless there's some sort of adapter. I'm not sure about that. You could probably look it up on Amazon or something like that. But yeah, I charge it with my computer, which is a Windows 10. It has a USB 3.0. I know a Mac has I know a Mac has a USB Type C and some new computers have USB Type C. Yes, yeah, so, but I'm pretty sure you can find an adapter that will convert it to uh, USB 3.0 on Amazon. Moving on, um, these are the booklets that come with it. This is the manual that comes with it, and this is I don't know what this is. It just has those two pictures. Okay, yep. So that's. That's what's inside. There's two papers, or the paper, the booklet, the charging station, that little brush to clean your blades, the two fading blades, and then those two extra black blades. I'm not sure what they're used for. And then the hair clipper itself. I'll go into more detail and show you guys the, the items in the next couple of videos. But yeah, this is it. Okay guys, that's how you turn it on. And here you can adjust the RPM going down and then you have to go all the way to 7,000 RPM. That's to adjust your fade size and that's just to look inside of it. All right guys, so now I wanna talk about the blades that came with the uh, the Fadify 2.0, which are right here. Uh, it was in total of five blades that came inside the box. I'm not sure if these two black ones if they're ever going to be used, I don't think I use them. I will ever use them. So let's just focus on these three right here that came that you'll probably end up using. Um, I don't think this one right here is used for the fade. I think that one's just used for once your fade is done and just clean it up at the bottom. I think the ones that are used for fading are this ones. As you can see, it goes from biggest to smallest. And then this one, it goes from biggest to smallest. I think those two are the same size. Maybe, I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, those are two of the same size. And uh, yeah, guys, those are the blades that came with the Fadify 2.0. It's a gold one. It came on it already. When I opened the box, it was on it. And so if, when you want to do your fade, I think you have to uh, switch it to one of these ones to do your perfect fade. Sure. And then those two right there, yeah, I don't know. What are they for? I don't think I'm going to use them. All right, guys, now I've turned each blade on its uh, upside down, but they're still in the same order. That one's the little the gold one. These ones are the ones that are used for the fade. And these are the ones that, yeah, I don't know what they're for. I don't think I'm ever gonna use them. But this ones right here, are the I guess, are the most important ones. And uh, that white thing right there is, uh, I think it's, you can readjust it, the size of your fade with the, uh, with the hair clipper itself. But yeah, that's the way it looks. All 
All right, guys, so now I have flipped it the other, on the other side, and as you can see, this one's the gold one, which came with it on it already. When I opened the box, this one was on it. And then this one's for the one to use for fading, I think. I'm not sure. And then these two, yeah, I don't know what they're for. I don't even know. But I think these three are the most important ones right here. This ones are the ones that are used for fading, I believe. As you can see, it goes from big to small. This one goes from big to small. And then this one is just normal. Uh, the white part um, is you can readjust it, adjust the size of it. According to the little handbook, it's for adjusting how long you want your fade or how short you want it. And uh, the hair clipper itself has a, a button that it slides up and down. And when you push that button, those, the white part moves up and down to readjust your fade. But yes, that's how they look. Now to charge the actual hair clippers, this is how you do it. Everything is included in the box. Uh, so first you put the hair clipper at the charging station and then you connect it to your computer. My computer is a Windows 10, it's pretty old. And my USB ports are 3.0, they're regular ports. I know some newer computers have the, their USB ports are type C, I believe. So it might are not type C. And uh, I don't think the uh, USB that comes with it or the wire that comes with it is for type C, but I'm pretty sure you can buy like a converter on Amazon if you don't have this kind of ports that I do. And um, I was actually kind of shocked that this is the way you have to charge it. I thought it would be like, like normal only how we charge the other hair clippers, connected them to a power outlet. I'm not sure if you can do do it with this hair clipper connected to a power outlet to charge it because it doesn't come with anything like that. This is all that comes with it. The, the charging station, those wires to connect it. You connect it like there. Then you just put, put it on, stick it in there on the charging station. And then you just connect it to your computer uh, port. Again, my computer is a Windows 10. The ports are USB 3.0, the regular ones. I don't have a Type-C USB port. I know if you have a Mac or uh, even newer com uh, computers have that kind of port, but I'm pretty sure you can buy one on Amazon to convert it into a regular port, like the one that I have. And to charge it for, you wanna charge it in the power outlet? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to do that. I'm not sure if you can do that, like buy something to convert it on Amazon or any something like that. But yeah, you guys can probably figure that out. But yeah, this is how you charge it, guys. And the numbers, I don't, they're not accurate, I think. Sometimes they're less, sometimes they're higher. Yeah, I don't know, but so I've been charging it for a full hour. That's what it shows right now. It shows, it shows 180, but I've been charging it for a full hour, so yeah. I guess don't pay attention too much to the numbers because they go up and down. They're not very accurate, but yeah, that's how you charge it, guys. All right, guys, so this is the guide, the user guide of the Fadify 2.0. That's what this is. I guess this is the front page. I'll probably scan this and then upload it so you guys can actually read it if you guys want to. But yeah, let's sit right there. This is the back of the user guide, which which blade to, to choose. Gives you the different sizes, the minding the blades, and then how to cut a fade exactly. And then that's very important. And that's it, that's the back of the booklet. But once again, I'll probably end up uh, scanning this booklet and uploading it so you guys can actually read it because I know it's going to be kind of difficult to read it off this video right here. But I'm going to scan it and upload it and put a link in the description so you guys can actually read the booklet, the user guide. Uh, I don't, this is, I guess this is the charging station in the picture. I'm not sure what that is right there, but I'm pretty sure it has to do something with those two black blades over there. But yeah, this is the front page of this paper. Or I'm not sure where, what this is, to be honest. 
And this is the back of it. There's nothing to it, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. This is the brush, the little brush that comes with, with it. It's just a regular small one. Nothing special or fancy about it. So yeah, that's it guys. That's everything that came inside the box. And if you want to see something in particular or you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments down below and I'll try to answer your questions. But yep, that's all that came with it. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer your questions as best I can. One last thing, guys, that I forgot is yep, you're probably asking yourselves if it if it actually works. Well, I already, if you look at some of my videos, um, I tried it out already, but it didn't work for me. Uh, the reason it didn't work out for me is because I used it upside down by mistake as I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to exactly use it to get that perfect fade. But like, if you look at the comments, you would say that some people bought it already and it did work out for them. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it works or not. Like, like I said, I used it already to cut my hair. But uh, if you look at the video, I used it upside down by mistake. But uh, yeah, so I'm not sure if it works or not, but some people claim it does work for them. But yeah, I'll cut my hair again, I'll upload a video and I will do it correctly this time. And then I will say if it works or not. But yeah, I'm not sure if it works, but some people say it did work out for them. So yeah, you can go with that. Thanks.